But joining me this evening is Tom Holder from Speaking of Research. They're a group who explain the need for animal research. Tom, good evening to you. Evening. The government say that they can't foresee circumstances where they would need to do experiments on uh, stray cats and dogs, but that falls short of an outright ban. Would there ever be any merit in doing such experiments? Well, let's be absolutely clear. The law is not changing. We are not allowing the use of stray or feral animals to replace purpose-bred animals being used for often life-saving essential research in labs around the UK. What has always been in place is allowances that say in exceptional circumstances where there is a significant threat to stray or feral populations from diseases within those populations that we could use stray or feral animals but this is both unlikely and very rare the last time I can think of uh, similar was uh, experiments in feral squirrels which allowed scientists to discover that what has been one of the major causes of the decline of the red squirrel is the SPPV uh, virus <laughs> which now hopefully scientists can look at ways of... So, so, so your answer to this is maybe, is it? In extreme? In very, very exceptional circumstances, but only for the benefit of animals. But, but there, there are thousands of, of animals being tested every year in this country at the moment. Um, can't an answer to any medical problem be found by them already? Well, the fact is that if we want to discover something about a disease that exists a wild strain disease that exists within uh, stray animals, then we need to use some of those stray animals to discover what's wrong so we can treat it. But again, this hasn't really ever happened and I can't foresee but, circumstances where it would in the future and nor can the Home Office. We're in, we're in 2012 now. I mean, surely there must be alternatives to experimenting on animals, aren't there? Although there are many complementary methods, the fact is there are no set of methods that can replace animal research entirely. And if we want to be able to treat some of the diseases of tomorrow and the diseases of today, things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, cancers, we need to be able to use animals in order to understand and treat those diseases. Tom Holder, thank you very much indeed for uh, talking to us tonight. Tom Holder there from uh, Speaking of Research. Uh, I'd like to uh, know your thoughts on uh, this one.